My name is Raymond Fort. I'm an architect at Architectonica. I'm the lead designer for Ella, Miami Beach. On one side, we have the ocean. On the other side, we have the bay. And in the middle, there's this seaside village. And within that village is where Ella sits. I wanted the design of the project to represent both this resort-like architecture, but also combine it with something urban and quaint that sits in this little village. My name is Eduardo Otaola. I am the managing principal for Constellation Group. We decided to name the building Ella, not only because it's a beautiful name, but also we wanted to pay homage to Ella Fitzgerald. And we wanted to pay homage not only to Ella Fitzgerald and her involvement and influence in Miami Beach, we also wanted to link the project to a golden time. We're very excited to announce the Beach Club partnership with the Boucher brothers. We believe that this partnership elevates the amenity package of Ella Miami Beach to the residents and offers special connectivity to the beach that very few projects have. Hi, I'm Stephen G, owner and founder of Interiors by Stephen G. In looking at old Miami Beach and the Art Deco era, it talked about finishes, it talked about color, it talked about geometric shapes. And what we've done is we have kept this amazing, subtle, contemporary deco feel. And we have all of the different pieces of the puzzle to make this so unique. My name is Daniel De La Vega and I am the president of One Sotheby's International Realty. And I am so excited and I am so privileged to be representing the Ella residences on North Beach. This is to me one of the most spectacular developments in all of Miami, really. What makes Ella Miami Beach so special is number one, the developers, Constellation, Vinmar, Bachetti Group. Number two, the North Beach District. If you don't know what's going on there, you've got to see it for yourself. There's nothing like it in Miami. There's retail, walking distance to the ocean, incredible bay and ocean views, and Ella Miami Beach itself is going to have incredible amenities. For a boutique building, it's got unprecedented amenities that very, very few buildings offer. These amenities include a spa area with a cold plunge, uh, with a steam room, with a pickleball court, a large storage area for uh, micromobility vehicles, such as moped and Vespas. It includes a beautiful state-of-the-art gym facility with uh, latest technology in calisthenics and functional exercises. It also includes a sunrise to sunset pool deck with an infinity edge pool looking over the Miami Bay with unencumbered views. My favorite amenity has to be the pickleball in the rooftop. It's not only about the game and the pickleball enthusiasm, it's also about the experience that you will get in the rooftop.